We're not socialists. I'm not a fan of Moody judges. You gotta have a centrist candidate. We've already seen the problems of having a centrist candidate um, running against Trump right now. Two top finishers from Iowa, Bernie Sanders and Pete Buttigieg, are battling it out. Senator Sanders accusing him of being too cozy with Wall Street. Unlike some of the folks up here, I don't have 40 billionaires, Pete, contributing to my campaign. We cannot risk dividing Americans further saying that you must either be for a revolution or you must be for the status quo. The latest local polls show Buttigieg gaining ground in the Granite State, running almost even with frontrunner Bernie Sanders. Now, I like Pete, but if you are serious about political change in America, that change is not going to be coming from somebody who gets a lot of money from the CEOs of the pharmaceutical industry. The battle of the establishment versus kind of grassroots, and you know, you're seeing grassroots show up, and I don't know if you'd get that with the establishment candidates. This, this country splitting into pieces, and you need to bring the suckers together and not go over there, or over there. No, he's too far left. I, I just think he's, he's older than I'd want him to be. Nobody older than me should be. You know, you gotta have a centrist candidate. I don't see why the Democratic Party can't figure that out. Oh, I think we've already seen the, the problems of having a centrist candidate um, running against Trump right now. I don't really like Pete Buttigieg that much, to be honest. I don't like his record in the South Bend, Indiana, with all those um, race issues and things like that. And he seemed very elitist to me. I am not inclined to someone with Bernie's surety of having the absolute answers. I understand why a lot of people want something radically different and a relief to the current turn. There's a lot of things I also like about Mayor Pete. They're both for Medicare, but I like the Medicare for who want it versus all. There's been a regression in the conversation when it comes to people who are impoverished, uh, for people who are counted out. There's a lot of overlap between Pete and Bernie and the way they talk to those people. Bernie seems more relatable. For sure. Buddha says it just seems like it's a, a mask or something. I don't really know. I can't really relate too much to him. Concerned about Bernie with, with his health. To my mind, still, there is such a middle part that we, we've been great when we've been in the middle, not when we've been on either side. Certainly not on that side. He's really corporate funded a lot, and that's a turnoff to someone who who wants to give each candidate an equal shot. Granted, I'll vote, I'll, I'll vote for whoever they nominate. I. I I, you got I can't stand who we got right now. Not crazy about Biden. Not crazy about Bernie. Um, like I said, I would support them, but they're they're not who I'm hoping will win the nomination. I will vote no matter what, and I will vote Democrat no matter what. You know, I would hold my nose and vote for him. What Donald Trump is is a detriment to not only Americans but to the world. Buttigieg would be the lesser of two evils there. You know what we're up against. I would vote for any of our Democratic candidates. But he's a socialist. We're not socialists, so I mean, it's kind of, I mean, I I'm not comfortable, wouldn't be comfortable voting the other way either, but I don't know what I'm going to do if that happens. We'll see. I'm going to vote for whoever the Democratic nominee is because Trump is the most dangerous president in our modern history. While it may not be to the two choices we want, one is much closer to where we are. However it works out, I'm voting Democratic. I mean, that's, that, that is, you know, that's the way it will go. I would go anybody but 45. I don't care if somebody just got out of an insane asylum and was voting against this 45, I would vote for him. I'm a weird voter because I'm, I'm a, I love Bernie, but I also love Pete. And there's not a lot of overlap there, I understand. I, either way, I would be happy about both, but I think that Mayor Pete has a way better chance with the younger generation. Well, I might not feel comfortable, but I'd do it anyway. <laughs> I, I fully expect uh, Bernie to win. If something happens and Buttigieg becomes president, I think what that kind of centrist neoliberal framework what that'll do is that it will enable a more competent fascist to take the white house in a couple more years and i'll vote for him over donald trump but that's that's the extent of it while there is this feud between him and pete they are on the same side ultimately and if pete wins bernie will be behind him and i hope that if bernie wins which i believe he will that pete will be equally as behind him.